right, we're back with TSPN and John Leggett. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are you doing? You? I'm fine. Thank you. Now, I was concentrating on um, watching uh, the History Channel last night. You're probably oh. concentrating on the Festival of Carols coming up. Yeah, I can't quite get it out of my mind I bet. recently. How? Because it's right around the corner, isn't it? It's coming up in a couple of weeks, a little over a couple of weeks. It'll be uh, two weeks from Friday. Okay. It's November 16, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock, November... Uh, 17 the next day three o'clock church of the nazarene it's a free concert mm -hmm. church of the nazarene is, is huge too so there's lots of room there well we tend to fill up the parking lot okay. so i would advise people to come early last right. week last year some people had to leave it was just full the whole church was full yeah. and that, that must seat uh, five four or five hundred people huh? yeah it's about four and a half i think okay yeah so that's really outstanding. It's a great event. Uh, you, you hear nothing but raves every year. Good, good. Have you been? Or? I have been. Wonderful. One time I was to it, and uh, the other time I got turned away, there was no parking. Oh, so. wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm just joking about that. But um, anyway, the show, um, tell us a little bit about it. What is going to happen there? Um, well, this year we have back the, the choirs that came and helped last year. Mm -hmm. And the choirs that came and helped last year is a kind of a conglomerate of the uh, Seventh-day Adventist churches from Sacramento and Asbury County. Mm -hmm. And so there's about 50, 60 people that come and help, which is a huge help. Mm -hmm. You know, last year we had over 80 in the choir, which was really fun. That's, and you we, must fill up uh, part of the parking lot yeah, for that. Yeah, just huh? for them, right. Um, last year we had the uh, Amateur County Concert Band, mm -hmm. but last year we went long. We were about a three-hour program. Wow. So we had to ask them not to come although I would suggest going to see them at some point because mm -hmm. they're doing well, better and better. Uh, so we have the group from Sacramento coming up and then we have our local group. So we're going to be uh, splitting them uh, into men's choir, mm -hmm. women's choir. We have a children's choir that we kind of put together and uh, so that's going to be fun. These are primarily just Christian choirs that, that come in and sing or well, not, yeah, non-denominational? It's, it's an interfaith uh, kind of patterned after the name of the food bank of which we uh, support. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly Christian uh, people that come from different churches, some community members, so you know you don't have to be a, a, a faith believer to, to come or sing mm -hmm. or anything like that. Right. But yeah, that's the, all the songs are sacred for the most part. And, and tell us, uh, what's the, the basis for the concert? What does it support? Well, it supports the Interfaith Food Bank. Okay. Yeah. When I was uh, a student at Sac State, I was very impressed by um, some of our concerts that we did around uh, the holiday time. And were you a music student at that time? Yeah, I was. I, and I d was so impressed, I went off to do a, a grad degree in, in uh, choral conducting. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if you've ever been to the concerts in Sacramento that CSUS does, you know, it's patterned after that. And uh, when Kathleen Harmon back in 1999 came to the uh, Methodist Church right up the hill here in Jackson mm -hmm. uh, and, and explained the food bank and you know, their needs and so forth. I thought, you know, we could do that. I've done that in school. Well, it was back in 99. This is this, this year's our 13th year mm -hmm. to do it. So we, we come together to support them. And this year, you know, there's more people now that, that need the help. And uh, our economy, you know, is down. So the, their giving is not up. So it's, it's an important concert for them. And, they, and they're going to come. They have a new director now, Tom Thompson, mm -hmm. who I understand came Former on. Rayleigh's uh, manager. Right. So, you know, we're all excited for what, what he's going to bring. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and we'll, we'll see, um, you know, what he has to say. Hopefully he can come share with us or we'll have someone tell us what's been going on last year. So, um, is it just the money you raise or do you ask people to bring some, um, some food too, canned foods or things like that? Well, we've never asked for uh, canned food or, or food uh, per se. Uh, people have, and, and, and that's can, fine. People can take that directly to the food bank also. Sure, yeah. No, but this is a free concert, but we do pass the plate. Right. People are so generous. It's, mm -hmm. it's quite amazing. We, you know, two times we pass the plate, plus we have a silent auction on Saturday, mm -hmm. and we raise about $10,000 every year. Yeah. It's amazing. That is really amazing it's for It's wonderful. It's a, it's a fun time. A lot of people pull me aside or even call me, leave a message, and say, Thank you so much for you and your family doing this because we look forward to it every year. Is it too late for people to get involved with this if they want to help in some way? Besides attending the concert. Yeah, well, um, they can call myself. My number is 223-2834. Okay. They could also call my mom. She's a, the right hand of really what goes on outside of the music preparation. 
Her number, uh, 267-9017. What's her name? Shirley. Shirley, okay. And so she does a lot of the ads and you know, a lot of the, uh, uh, the works for the program. Uh, give us um, where people can purchase tickets for the event. Well, they, they don't have to purchase tickets. Okay. That's the beauty. We decided a long time ago not to... Uh, not to have tickets that way, you know. Okay, so maybe so some people couldn't come. Free, free event, as you free said, event. and just to pass the hat. Right. So bring your checkbook or bring your money. Yeah, uh, yeah. And donate often, and uh, as they say in campaigns, uh, often and frequently. Right? Often and frequently. Yeah. Um, where is it again? Just one more time for uh, people. One four zero five zero Ridge Road. That's a couple miles up Ridge Road from Sutter Hill, the Church of the Nazarene. Okay. They've been very good to us over the years. All right, and we'll cover it one more time at the end of the show. Thank John, you very Thank much. you very much for being here. Okay. Thank and you. We have to go to a break. We'll be right back with a replay of the two thousand two two thousand five final segments. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.